Hello and welcome to Wall. This is ship number 8014 and in this video I will talk about the principal dimensions of ship. So the first one is camber. The curvature of the decks in the transverse direction that is towards the sides of the ship is known as camber. It ensures that the ship sees drain of the decks as fast as possible, spacely in cases of ships which sail with low free wood like loaded tankers. Second is the water line. Water line is the line where the hull of the ship meets the water surface as shown in the figure. Third is the free board. Free board is the vertical distance measured at the ship's side between the summer load line that is the water line and the uppermost continuous deck. Fourth is the rise of floor. Rise of the bottom shell plating in the transverse direction above the baseline from the keel towards the sides is known as rise of floor. This feature is rather obsolete and rarely found in modern ships. Drought is the vertical distance between the water line and the bottom part of the hull. Now come to one of the important points that is baseline. Baseline is an imaginary horizontal datum line drawn through the upper edge of the keel and it is used as a reference line for all vertical measurements. Now comes another point that is tumble home. Tumble home is basically the inward curvature of the sail plating at the sides. Now comes depth. Depth are of two types, molded depth and extreme depth. Depth of the vessel at the ship side from the upper deck to the baseline. If it is inside of the ship's plating, it is molded depth and if it is outside the ship's plating, it is extreme depth. Same goes with the breadth, breadth of two types, molded breadth and extreme breadth. If it is inside, it is known as molded breadth and it is outside, it is known as extreme breadth. Now comes another point that is shear. This is the curvature of the deck in the fore and aft direction. It is measured as the height of the deck at various points above the height of the deck at the midship point as you can see in the figure. In this figure you can uh, see the forward shear and the aft shear of the ship. Now we will uh, see the aft perpendicular and uh, forward perpendicular. So the aft perpendicular, the perpendicular drawn to the water line through the point where the aft side of the rudder post meets the summer load line the forward perpendicular the perpendicular drawn to the water line at the point where the four side of the stem meets the summer load line so the length between the perpendiculars is the length between the forward and the aft perpendicular and it is measured along the summer water line length overall the maximum length of the vessel measured from the extreme forward point of the vessel to the extreme aft point of the vessel is known as length overall. So this is the end of the video and I hope you have liked it. Subscribe it to enhance your most navy knowledge. Thank you.